Hello everyone, and welcome to yet another um, sketchbook review, overview I suppose. Uh, wow, it's been a while. So, first off, my apologies for not being very good about uh, <laughs> staying on top of these. Uh, I do have a lot, so I really should get moving on them. They're only a few a year right now. I wish I had more time, but I just finished working on Do a Power Bomb. Just finished wrapping up issue seven, so I have some breathing room, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, it had some time, so I figured, why not? Let's dive into volume seven. And uh, this was done right around uh, like February 2012. Um, this is a ways back. Gilead Media, of course, uh, they produced a bunch of Thou records, I think, way back in the day. I bought a pair of Doc Martens. This, uh, we got these bagels when I was on my honeymoon. I used to brand myself as the artistic gorilla. I don't know why. I was not good at branding. Here's a drawing of me and <laughs> my wife, Rachel. And uh, the EMP Museum, we went to Seattle for our honeymoon. Uh, good times. Reckless Records, of course, in Chicago. Uh, yeah, it's funny. These stickers are like a time in my life. You know, it's a, the perfect kind of uh, remembrance, if that makes sense. Yeah, so, okay, February 2012 to May of 2012. Um, more Pentel brush pen. Experimentations. This is all almost all Pentel brush pen. I think that's Micron there with the sword. Um, this is definitely influenced by Becky Cloonan. Becky Cloonan, huge influence on me just starting out. Um, she did a few mini comics, I remember. Uh, I don't remember the titles of them, but I remember she would produce them herself. They weren't very long, maybe like 20, 24 pages. They were in about this like A7 size, about this big. And, uh, like, a lot of fantasy and, um, oh, gosh, I can't remember the titles now. Sorry, Becky. But because of your work, Becky, you helped me kind of get inspired to make my own stories and uh, kind of do my own thing and draw some more fantasy elements, things like that. So, uh, yeah, thanks, Becky Cloonan. Credit where credit is due. So this is kind of that. I remember reading one of her books, one of her comics, and it immediately coming over here and like trying to draw <laughs> trying to draw some fantasy stuff and these trees are I'm not proud of these trees but what can you do I was learning okay uh, I'm not sure what's going on here I remember liking this drawing when I did it this is of course a while ago kind of I don't know it's fun tearing the guy's arm off it kind of lacks the dynamic kind of raw power that you'd kind of want with a scene like this I think but it's still pretty cool um, I remember I really liked like these kind of like oh gosh what do you call them like um, Cthulhu kind of vibe monster things but more Pentel pocket brush pen stuff Hellboy of course kind of trying to design my own monsters yeah I didn't like this drawing when I did it and I don't like it now what can you do? I don't really, not really sure what I was going for there. I did draw a lot of people, like just in my everyday life, um, trying to get better at the human form and just drawing gesturally. Also trying to get better at like drawing scenes and trying to make something like an office interesting. Um, I think I was reading a lot of like, I feel like I was reading Powers, uh, with the guy with the tie. I was really into that design. Um, can't quite remember though. This is a guy with a mask. And it also is like still loving to draw the fantasy stuff in 2012. And here is, you can kind of tell it's kind of like a hybrid of like uh, Frank Quietly lines and then, you know, mixing in a few brush dry brush techniques there with the pentel brush pen it was all the brush pen all the pocket brush pen so yeah well, here's some more this is a 
more, gosh, I think these are all, yeah, this, uh, teachers at Hagen, uh, Aspira Hagen, uh, middle school where I used to teach in 2012. One thing that I really struggled with was like top down perspective. It was something that I was trying to work on. Um, had no idea what I was doing here. I was just like fudging it with like a little like farm thing there. Um, I wish I liked this drawing more. I feel like we uh, as artists have like an idea of like what we want our art to look like and there's like this disparity between like what we want to see and what we can see in our head versus like what we can actually make happen on the page. And this is definitely one of those things where I was really seeing and feeling that disparity and not really knowing how to move forward. Um, this is a discouraging time. I, I've, I worked really hard on this and it just didn't really come out, but I do like this right here. It's pretty cool. I was uh, using Copics. I think there were Copics in volume six as well, but just kind of the space mullet vibe with just the one color. But it started here. I was experimenting with that here. And as you'll see, um, space mullet shows up in a few pages. So it's exciting. I can't wait to show you guys that. Another, a pencil drawing that I still really like. Not really sure. I couldn't figure out how to get his hand closed around this knife here. It looks a little awkward. But I liked it a lot. I, I, I was too scared to ink this, I remember. Oof. More kind of like Powers kind of style, like 100 bullets kind of vibe uh, with like monsters, like Cthulhu style monsters. A guy taking on some Vietnamese soldiers, I guess. I'm not really sure. This is a nothing page. Uh, I didn't like it then. I don't like it now. A lady in tattoos. That's pretty cool. Um, again, more Pentel brush pen sketching. Trying to get more confident with it. Still not quite there. A lot of like, you know, I was treating it like a pen, you know, dit, 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 can kind of this, these jabby marks, not very fluid. Um, not bad, but nothing special. Um, a lot of learning. Uh, oftentimes, I still do this now, I'll, if I like something that I drew somewhere else, I will pull it, I'll like cut it out and I'll just paste it in here. Um, if I don't take the sketch with me or if I like leave it on like the post-it note, I will just lose it. So I just like put it in a sketchbook and I call it a sketch for the day. Um, and I just keep everything and if I put it in a sketchbook it helps archive it better than having it just float around the house. Um, I remember liking this. There's definitely, like, you can tell, like, I was looking at James Heron here. Um, so I owe that guy a lot. You, know, you can see all this, like, little kind of James heron -y. I see it right down here. I don't see it up here. I didn't know what I was doing up here, but this is, again, this is me trying to figure out that Frank Quietly thing uh, with, like, the thin line, which I still like. I mean, I use Micron all the time, just not usually for full figures like this. This is not a good drawing at all. I didn't finish the face. I didn't like this drawing then. I don't like it now. There's a lot of drawings I don't like in here, actually. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I think I was reading The Strand. Um, Del Toro's kind of The Strand. I think it was an, a novel. I really like this. I really like that drawing a lot. Very gestural. Yeah, I like this one a lot. I also really like... The kind of like, he's kind of like, he has kind of like a fisherman outfit on. Like, like he lives on a boat. I really like this character still. I kind of have this idea of this guy that like has a, um, I'm really into tugboats. I know that maybe is funny to say, but I love tugboats. I love drawing tugboats. Um, and uh, I just think it would be really fun to have like a monster hunter that like lives on a tugboat and like goes and uh, you know, fights monsters on like big wa uh, big boats. I don't know. So here, we go. so this is that. You know, he's got like a like he's got like the little hat and the 
a cross. Of course he does. I don't know. Maybe someday. Hmm. I think these are some sketches of friends, maybe? Uh, don't like that drawing. I do like this drawing, though. I don't know where this is from. This feels like I used reference, but I don't think I did. Kind of like a steampunky pencil sketch. Wasn't scared to ink this one, I just didn't have time or I didn't feel like it. I kind of want to bring this back into my art. This kind of like stuttery Pentel brush pen kind of attack here. I think it makes kind of like a fun texture that I honestly have never really seen anywhere and I lost it as I like kind of got better with the brush, but yeah, I do like this drawing a lot and I remember liking it when I drew it. It was definitely a victory. Um, let's see, this is one of my students in 2012. This was a few, like a week before I got married, right here. I took a few days off from teaching. I was trying to draw the Hulk and I couldn't figure it out. I was like, what makes the Hulk? He just looks like an old man with like big muscles here, so. Oh, cool. I like this drawing a lot. Um, yeah, really nice, some Copic, Copic, whatever it's. I like the kind of gesture of this character and I really like that. I was kind of going for like a Wolverine samurai thing, I think. Not quite sure, but it's a good page. These are good pages. Still into the fantasy stuff. I still love fantasy. Um, I was trying to draw the mountain here from Game of Thrones, I think. Gosh. Or maybe it was not the mountain. I'm sorry, the other one. Gregor Clegane. Like my own kind of take on the hound. The hound, that's what it is. Yeah, I actually really like that face still. I think that's, we can definitely call that a victory. Let me make sure that's in, yeah. Really cool. Not sure what this is. Got some spaceship stuff here. Nice drawing though. More Copic. Copic? You can let me know in the comments which one it is, because good grief. This is cool. More fantasy. I also really like this. I was still, I think, mostly a purist when it came to brushwork. Now I do a hybrid. I'll use like brush pen and like you know, a fine liner, like a Micron or this is a Winsor Newton one, which is the same thing basically. But back then I was like, I had this thing in my head where it's like I had to only use one or the other. Um, so you can definitely see there's like, maybe there's a few pen lines in there, but for the most part I was trying to like figure out, can I just draw in uh, ink just by myself, by itself, my apologies. Um, and it wasn't until later that I kind of like accepted the fact that I just really love using everything under the sun and not really uh, being a purist in any way when it comes to making lines. So if it works, it works. And if the combination works, that's all the more power to you. So, oh, if I could just tell Dan it was okay to use a micron every once in a while. <laughs> Still a great drawing though. Really like this. Oh, this is a fun conceptual sketch. So this was done for some friends uh, of mine that um, actually was in the theater group, theater troupe, theater group with my wife, Rachel, the Suitcase Shakespeare Company in Chicago. They would tour and do shorter Shakespeare plays for local Renaissance fairs in the Midwest in like the Chicago land area, uh, Wisconsin, the whole area. And um, they were trying to raise money for their next season and they were hosting an event at a bar where you buy a ticket, you get some drinks, and then you'd get a zombie portrait from me. But, you know, it's a Shakespeare group, so I drew Shakespeare as a zombie with a drink in his hand, and I would go, and people would sit down in front of me, and I would draw them, and it would be a likeness portrait, but they'd be a zombie, and if it was like a couple, I'd have one of them chewing the other couple's eye out or whatever. But you could tell it was them, and uh, it was a huge hit. And... Um, it was a really, really fun night. It was like a bar on Broadway in Montrose. 
Um, and uh, good time, a really good time. So this isn't the official drawing. I think I did the official drawing. It's somewhere else, but this is the proof of concept that I sent a photo to of the guy running the event. And um, now then uh, from then on, I, I, I actually, my first Comic-Con ever was in 2012 of August at uh, Wizard World. And I was trying to push my webcomic Space Mullet onto people, but I had no way of like making ends meet when it came to paying for the actual table with the wares that I'd sell at a show because I had nothing to sell. And I think it was maybe Rachel or I don't know whose idea it was, but it was like, why don't you do zombie portraits for people to make the, the money? And then on the side, you can share Space Mullet with people. And so that's what I did. But it was the Shakespeare uh, party fundraiser that got me to that point and was made it so that I could afford to have Comic-Con tables when I was just starting out. Um, this is Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter or whatever. Wasn't there like a book or something or a movie? And I just thought it was fun. So there's Abe Lincoln, but I don't think it really looks like Abe Lincoln. Here's another Abe Lincoln. Um, and like a cool sword and I was I was playing a lot of Mass Effect in 2012. So that's where the red stripe comes from. And there's more Mass Effect to come. Mass Effect has been a huge influence on me. Not so much the new stuff like Andromeda, no way. But the original trilogy is uh, a huge part of my like storytelling inspiration and, and like I owe a lot to the original Mass Effect trilogy. This, I know, is um, was my kind of take on Brienne of Tarth. I was reading the books at the time. I don't think she sh had shown up in the TV show yet. But I also don't mind this drawing. I like this. I don't really love the face, and the hair is a little everywhere. And I would do the ink. I think this was Pentel brush pen here. And then I would use, like, a marker to color in the back. And I wish I had known about just these, like, thick... Pentel brush pens, not the pocket ones, but just the big, the big ones that could fill this in easily. Um, this kind of makes me think of like Mike Mignola, you know, you see his originals and it's all marker in the background and uh, yeah, good times. And I didn't know anything about Mike Mignola's uh, background, you know, black line coloring in, but now that I've seen it, it makes me think of it. Let's see. That's a nice drawing there. That's actually really nice. Terrible drawing. You know, I was like trying to practice eyes here. Not sure. Some Mass Effect fan art here. I think, are these the Asari? Oh gosh, I can't remember. A dragon. Figuring out how to draw tech and not being very good at it. Uh, this is kind of a bit of a throwback to some of the first few volumes. If you'll remember, I had a character with like a flannel. with a, Maybe it was an axe or a guy that hunts monsters in uh, old towns in Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah, there he is. There's the powers vibe. And here is some of the first kind of iterations of... Uh, Alpheus from Space Mullet. It, you know, he's the same character as this, uh, but in like a suit. So I'm not sure why I did that, but yeah, I like this drawing. I don't like this drawing. This is a nice drawing. There's a, what is this, hipster axe wielder? God, sorry guys. Um, I don't like this drawing either. This is embarrassing. Drawing people on the bus. I don't take the CTA as much as I used to, but when I do, I do like to bring my sketchbook, and as long as people aren't too weirded out, I will sketch them. This is a cool drawing. One thing that I find very relaxing is to just uh, watercolor or postcard or copic my drawings after I ink them. It's like having my own um, coloring book. It's really fun. I do it on the weekends sometimes, because I don't Pardon me. I don't draw a ton on the weekends, but I will color in stuff in my sketchbook, and that's a blast. So, here we go. This is getting closer to the space mullet thing. Just getting the idea of a mullet, a mustache. Let's go kill Satan. Not sure what that's about. 
I was thinking of like maybe a crime thing. I was really into noir at the time. Oh, abandoned. This is from Till We Have Faces, I think. I was reading that novel by C.S. Lewis, but I don't remember what exactly this is. Neither of these are very good drawings. Here is Rachel as a zombie. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this uh, was for. I think I just wanted to draw Rachel. This is a proof of concept. That's what it was. We were talking about ways for me to make money at shows, and I was like, maybe if I just draw someone as a zombie. <laughs> so I drew Rachel as a zombie. So there you go. Here are some of my students taking a terrible test. Testing days, no fun. More fan art. Uh, really, I remember loving the way this came out when I was doing it. And it doesn't quite hold up as well now, but man, oh, what a good time. I remember I just had a good time making this, so that's something to be celebrated. Here is one of the first ever drawings of Jonah from my uh, series Space Mullet. Um, let's see. Yep. So we're getting closer, getting closer. Just kind of drawing, like riffing. On, it's a lot of Mass Effect fan art, some dragons, some lady in a swimsuit with a gun. Uh, there's another pseudo Jonah. This is like very early me like still figuring it out. Look at that. Getting closer. And then sure enough, this is like credit. This is like the official creation of Jonah with the pencil mustache. Um, in a Mass Effect outfit, just because, I guess, I was really into Mass Effect. I'm not sure why Jonah was so in the Mass Effect kind of sketching here. I think it's just because I was playing a ton of Mass Effect. I really loved it. Uh, and I was like, well, he looked cool in a Mass Effect outfit. And, uh, he was, of course, he's evolved over the years, but this is where it all started. I remember there are previous drawings in here of, of, Jonah, but it was this drawing that made me think that I could build a story off the way this character looked. It all started here. Very exciting. It was a good time. I remember being so excited about that drawing and just feeling good about the possibility of making a comic about him. Um, so, pretty neat, huh? And then a lot of my sketchbooks, you know, I'll hit gold and then it's like, it's this one specific drawing that you're trying to get right, but from different angles and figuring out why it, it works the way it works. So when doing character design, I like to go with my gut and I'll just riff and I'll go. And if something hits, I will obsess about that one drawing and why it works. And this is what I did. So I feel like, yep, here we go. This, after drawing this, I immediately started drawing him more. Because I was like, I know, I, this is special. And I drew this drawing, I was like, that doesn't work. Why doesn't that work? And I'm like, keep referencing back. Like, why? Well, I basically drew them the same. And there's these little details that my own hand and brain haven't figured out yet. Like, the hair has to be a certain length. It was too short there. The mustache has to be uh, thin enough. It was too thick there. Um, and it was just me figuring it out, slow and steady. But it's all started here. He had tattoos for a while, but then I was like, I don't want to draw tattoos on my characters every time I draw them. So that went away very quickly. Um, there he is. I think that's a Battlestar Galactic tattoo <laughs> that he's got there, which I've obviously got rid of. Um, there he is. He, he d lacks the kind of hair that I, that I would put on him, but um, I don't like anything else on here, but I like these two drawings. There's more Jonah and some more Mass Effect, but trying to figure it out, you know, like this, you can definitely see here. I was like, I was really trying to ape my drawing here and like, I wasn't quite getting, it. I couldn't quite figure it out. His hair was always too short and I didn't realize that for a long time. Yeah. Then I went, I'll give him a half sleeve and then I finally fully abandoned it. More Mass Effect fan art. This is fun. This is my character, Alpheus, that I thought this might be what his face looks like to start. Um, I remember I was feeling really good about this drawing. I was like, oh, this is so cool. And I was mixing some uh, Micron in here, I think. Yes, I was. 
knocking the face off some poor peon. I remember this leg. Everything was awesome, and I drew this leg, and I was like, it's time to stop. <laughs> Let's keep moving on. A drawing of, like, a crusader, I suppose. Not sure why I was into this. Had I just seen Kingdom of Heaven? Not a very good movie, but... More Jonah. A crying dragon. There's Rachel. I'm very bad at drawing my own wife. She has a very interesting face that I still have trouble figuring out. This is like, kind of like, getting to the dregs here. Not really sure what this is. Uh, here's more Jonah. Another dragon. Trying to get a little more experimental with my uh, brush. Excuse me. Just trying to have fun, you know, getting textural. More Alpheus. So, okay. Alpheus morphed from this kind of like monstery, grisly monster to more of a character like this uh, with the tentacles on the side and being able to emote a little bit better. Um, and this is where Alpheus fully was born. And I knew. These were the two sketches I knew. I was like, this works. Um, yeah, that's so exciting. This is uh, downtown Chicago outside of the Art Institute, a tree down there, but I can't remember which one. More, and a hybrid this time, using pens in the background and a brush for the organic stuff. Here's Jonah tearing the head off a monster, just a pencil drawing. I'm not sure why I never inked this. I think I really liked it, and I just ran out of time, and I was just moving on, and I kind of, kind of fell behind. Trying to figure out, like, speed lines that are kind of wavy. I guess kind of like a Jedi Knight kind of vibe. It's me trying to draw my dad and failing. Oh, my God. Sorry, Dad. Oh, this is interesting. So, here is some Space Mullet concept art. Uh, I don't know how many of you have actually read Space Mullet, but this is, the, uh, this is a, a layout to a page that I did where they approached the casino for the first time in issue one. Um, and here is the kind of like casino concept art. No idea what I was doing. There's a little spaceship there, that's nice. Um, just trying to get the feel of it. But yeah, it started here. Oh man, this is so fun. I forgot about this. I would figure a lot of that stuff out on my sketchbook, so that's really cool. Some more pencil drawings. Not sure why I didn't ink these. I don't love these. More Jonah. Oh, there's a nice little drawing of Jonah. Actually, it's not very nice, but I was just, just like a lot of, it was a lot of trial and error. With Jonah and figuring it out and what worked and what didn't. Oh, wait. Did I just, like, not draw? Th Gosh, sorry, guys. Well. <laughs> the last drawing of Volume 7. Um, pretty sure these are love notes from Rachel, so I'm not going to open those. But. Man. The Birth of Space Mullet in Volume 7. I've looked at this one a lot. You can tell. It's all... I, I abused this one, but that's what sketchbooks are all about, and uh, I'll do my best to try and get volume eight soon, but as you know, it might be a while. Thank you everyone for all your support. I hope you have a great holiday. Um, we'll see you soon, and uh, if you haven't already, and you do draw, I highly recommend you get a sketchbook. I mean, like drawing it every day. This thing is so much fun. It's like the best kind of entertainment. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon.